Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. So a couple of weeks ago, I reviewed these two frames. This is the Coppice HD frame and this is the Flywheel Mr. Croc. And what I said at that point is I'd take I'd build this, fly it, test it, take the internals out of it and put them into this one. Uh, since then I've changed my mind because I love this thing so much. You will have seen a flight video hopefully by now depending on the weather of this. But this thing is truly amazing. So I decided I didn't want to strip that down so I bought another air camera. So I bought another one of these. Uh, they're 175 quid but I believe if you're interested in one DJI selling them in the winter sale for 145 which is quite a saving. So I showed you the frame last time and all I've done this time is put the air unit inside it. I've used a piece of Gorilla Tape to stick it to the top and then I've got the camera in here. If you are interested in this frame you have to mount the camera that high up and the simple fact is you will not get the stack to go under, the stack has to go underneath it because of room space in this frame and also this plastic piece goes at the back and that's to stop these antennas popping out. So because we're building another one obviously we've had to then get new motors and uh, another flight controller. So this flight controller, I built that one with the um, Kakute. And this one I've decided just to use a normal Mamba. So this time we're using the Mamba F7. This is the F7 for Mamba and we're going to have to connect this up manually. See if I can focus it in a bit better. Let's see if it comes into focus now. There you go. So this is the Mamba. So we need to do this separately. So we're going to have to wire up the VTX and the RX pins to the VTX and the RX pins and swap them around on the air unit and then we need back voltage which is in that corner and I don't even want to be able to get to them when the plug's in so we may have to just go straight into the battery terminals. This here is a Bluetooth connection so this will run the Speedy B app which I've showed you before on the Eosheen LAL 5. So this is why I went for this board and it's an F7 and obviously then we've got the I think it's 45 amp speed controller but we're only going to be running this on 4S anyway. This is this. These come in at about sixty. I think they come in about sixty quid, something like that. So it's a bit more expensive than the ones I have been using. But I just decided I wanted to do this one and put a bit of a different spin on it. So we're going to go with that. We're going to go with the Zing motors. These are the Zing E's, and these are twenty four fifty kV. And these are a 2306, I believe, are they 2306? Sorry, 2207 these, so 2207 these Zing motors. <coughs> Excuse me, so we're going to use these on there. And then obviously we have the XM Plus. And then we're going to use these ESIC S5 props. So this is what the build's going to be, and as you can see the air unit's in now and you can see it's in place. These hold in place properly when you put your stack on, so the stack mounts onto the top of there and there. I'll just show you in a minute. So I'm going to take it away, I'm going to put the motors on, uh, I'll probably solder up the wires onto the stack, onto the ESC and I'll show you before I fit the flight controller. So we've got the, just have to hold that there, as you can see we've got the ESCs, ESC mounted. So you have to bring your wires out the back, obviously, for this one's a bottom mount battery. But the only thing, you the other thing I've found is I can't get the capacitor inside that frame because it's going to hit the air unit and it's going to get in the way. So I've brought it out the back here and just under this guard which holds these in. So, so far, very easy to do indeed. And this is a really nice board to solder onto. Sometimes these boards can be bad and the soldering pins are bad, but they're good. As you can see, I brought the wires around the back. I have chopped them down quite a bit, but I didn't want any wires coming, especially with these being in the way. So now I need to put on my flight controller. Or oh, the other thing that did with this frame, it comes with long screws that go through. So I've had to modify some screws I had to bring them into here because with them screws in, I don't understand how you get the air unit on because it touches it. The screws touch. So what I've done is I've put shorter screws in and I've used the pillars that come in this stack. 
So as you can see, the motor's very, the motor's just straightforward bolt on. I never picked up a screw somehow. Uh, motor's just straightforward bolt on. And the other thing I've done is obviously there's don't get a cable in here. I would recommend anybody that uses XT60s to buy these type. They're no more money. They can get them cheap on eBay or other, or other places. But they're so much better with a plastic protection cap on rather than put in tape or um, heat shrink. Much, much better. So I'm going to go mount that and then I'm going to come back and show you when I've got the wiring in place for the air unit and also the receiver which I have not got a clue where I'm fitting at the minute. Um, there doesn't seem to be a spare place so <laughs> that's going to be interesting trying to find that. It's a very small frame as you can see it's compact inside to have this air unit in. So I'll be back in a minute. So as you can see I've got the stack built in. So I've had to put the top on because I was trying to put the top on to make sure all the wires fit in and it's difficult to get it in and once I'd put it in place I wasn't taking it back off again. So all I've done is connected two wires to RX6 and TX6 and they're from the TX and RX on this unit. Swap them around and then you need to go liven that port up, that UART up on beta flight which I haven't done yet. I haven't set this up for beta flight, this is just as it stands, it doesn't nothing's work, uh, up and running the only thing I've done is tested the camera at this stage I always test the camera to make sure it works it's going to tell you it's not activated but just make sure you get a picture on it and also obviously this is now out of date this A unit even though I've just got it it needs setting up so it's, a, it's one back from this so as you can see this is what it's going to look like built I'm going to come back when I've set it all up and I'll show you properly around it but I just wanted to show it in this step so here we are completely built so it's all on, pops them all on, it's been set up on beta flight, I've put the receiver wire in loosely kind of thing. I'll explain that in a minute why I've done that. Um, I've got these pops on, they seem really nice. Let's just check the overall weight of this, just bear with one second. I meant to get this out early, so let's just check what weight this is. It feels heavy. And it feels heavy when you fly it. So it's coming in at 501 grams, if you can see that. So nearly 502 grams, that's with your battery. You could make it lighter by putting a smaller battery on, but you're going to get a lot less flight time because of the amount of power this thing soaks. It is heavy, and I think it's a bit too heavy for the frame, to be fair. I think, I'm not sure. I don't particularly like this frame, and here's a few points I don't like. This air unit gets ridiculously hot. The air unit's as thin as you can mount it. Bear in mind you get no mounting... Uh, anything to mount this on. These could have been done with being two millimeters longer because all the wires are under here and the worry would be after a long time is how hot's that going to get and would it do some damage to the wiring. It's also extremely close to the stack. I'd like I say my stack's not particularly high and with that I'm not really over keen on this frame. I think you could do a lot better. I think you could go for either the DC5, I think this is the better frame, I think this is the best frame so far that I've tried and obviously this is got a lot of weight on because I've got this in here but it flies nice this is the flywheel Mr Croc, this will be only on so I can do some testing with it to get your video up due to the fact the UK weather that bad I can't get a video test, uh, flight test up with any of these so I intend to, you, I've done the flight test for this one so what I intend to do shortly is I'll fly both of these and I'll put one video up showing the flight test of both of them at the same time rather than making two different videos and that's if I can get the flight time up. The one great thing about this, this thing comes with the this is, I put the F7 um, Mamba stack on here and with that you get this, you get Bluetooth which I absolutely love and if you know, I'm just going to show it to you quickly, you're probably all seeing this now but you need the Speedy B app and I can't find it where is the Speedy B app on my phone? I'm probably staring at it. There you go. You need a Speedy B app. And simple matter of hitting connect. It'll come straight up. Mamba F722. Now, I did a video, if you've probably seen that one, on the, um, I can't what it's called. Eosheen LLA5. And that thing had loads of lag. There's hardly any lag on this. And also it takes forever to boot into it. So whether this has got a better board on, I'm guessing it has. And obviously you can set everything up on here so you can do your ports. I'm just going to show you the ports actually because it's quite important. And having said that, look, it's taking forever to connect. So, proving me to be a liar. So if we go into the ports, just want to show you. I put this onto UART6. So I've used RX and TX for UART6. And that's given me that. And then you see, you have to go into here and turn on MSP. If you don't do that, you will not get back with voltage on your screen. 
If you want to connect this unit up and not bother about battery voltage, you can just connect two wires. You can just connect the positive and negative. But what you don't get is battery voltage, but more importantly, you don't get the ability to set your pins on your screen through your goggles. You can do that once you've connected that up. If you don't do that, you can't do any of that. And that's virtually the only thing you have to do. I've done different things. I've turned the beacons on and various other things. Uh, put it on D-Shot 1200, because I think it came with 600 out of the box. And that's about all I've done. Turn the um, RSSI on. But this app is fantastic. And if you've got GPS, obviously, it'll show you where your drone is. This is amazing, this app. I think this is fantastic. The SpeedyB boards or board compatible boards are great. And I think this board comes in at 61 quid. That was from the UK. You could probably, but if you wanted to buy it from China, you can probably get it for less. But obviously, I prefer to buy it from the UK. And I think it comes in at 61 quid delivered. So, great board. So with that aside, so this is going to come out of here. I will be taking this in bits because there's no point in me keeping it if I don't like it. And I'm going to use this frame to rebuild my Tyro 99. So I have not flown this for about a year, no, I don't know, eight months. And I did like it, but it's got limitations. The motor's not very good and the frame's ridiculously heavy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all this gear, everything off this. It's going to be stripped back down to its bare frame and we're going to put this into here and I'll just print a new part for the back to hold my antenna on. So this won't get not used this frame, it just won't be what it's intended for anymore. And we're going to put this inside there but obviously with new motors we're going to replace the motors. All this gear is going to come off in one piece I hope and go into a new frame. I have no idea what frame I'm going to buy yet. I've had a look at a few options. Um, there's actually one with a double stack on the top and it looks really strange, but I might give it a go. It's not a bad price, I think it's mid-30s. We might give that a go, or we might go for the Transtech frame, which I do like the look of. But anyway, this will be coming out and going into there. So, like I say, I will have a flight video coming up. I do not know when it's going to be, I apologise for that. You've just seen that earlier this week, I believe, and if I put them in the right order, and now you've seen this one. And I'll have a flight video of both, so there won't be two videos, there'll just be one combining both. But it will be a bit of a longer video. Thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button, and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.